So here's the table that was uh, on that previous, uh, on your canvas and notes. Uh, we want to classify these, uh, whether or not they're polynomials, and then tell us what kind of polynomial they are. So nine, is it a polynomial? Yes. What type of polynomial is it? It's a monomial because it's a single term. Uh, and it has the degree of um, 1. No, 0. 0, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's 0. Because there is no uh, variable term, this is a 0 degree. So 2x squared plus x minus 5. Is it a polynomial? Yes, it is. What type of polynomial is it? one two three terms that makes it a trinomial and the degree of that is two because it's the highest power what about this one six n to the fourth minus eight n is it a polynomial no it's not because remember polynomials must have uh, must have whole exponents, right? Meaning positive and non-fraction. So this has n as an exponent, so that's a no, which means there's no degree to classify. n to the negative 2 minus 3, is it a polynomial? No. Again, it has to have a positive non-fraction exponent, and that doesn't. So there's nothing to classify. Finally, 7b squared c cubed plus, uh, it's supposed to be a 4. That got mixed up. 4b to the fourth. That's a 4. Uh, c. Is this a polynomial? Yes. Exponents are whole and positive, right? Uh, Non-fraction and positive, so that's it. Um, how many terms does this have? One, two. So this is a binomial. And the degree of, let's see, two, three, four. Highest number is four. Degree of four. So. Uh, we these are the kind of the, the vocabulary that we're going to be talking about in most of the lessons for this chapter so it's important to be able to recognize what they are mostly the monomial binomial trinomial thing okay so we're going to be using that uh, as we continue to talk in these next couple of uh, sections this whole chapter really so let's go let's move on to adding polynomials so we're going to add these together uh, this is going to feel really similar to something that we've already done because basically what we're doing here is we're just going to combine like terms. Notice that this one here has one, two, three terms. This is a trinomial. And this one has one, two, three terms. This one's a trinomial. So we're taking a trinomial plus a trinomial. And we're going to combine like terms. So the first thing that I'm going to do is group like terms. Now, these are in parentheses here, but there's nothing being distributed. There's no multiplication happening. So we can just group together the terms that are the same. Now, the terms are going to have the same exponent and a variable. So we have 2x cubed plus x cubed, right? That's uh, this one here and this one here. Plus, I've got some x squareds. This is 2x squared minus 5x squared. I'll put a square around those ones. Notice that, uh, notice that this is a negative 5x. So the negative, the sign to the left of the number, make sure to carry that with it. Um, and then we have this x here, which we'll put a triangle around, which doesn't have a term to connect with on the other one. And then this one over here, 
Uh, I've run out of shapes. Let's use a parallelogram for this one, nah. uh, which is just, it's on its own again. So notice that I've grouped the terms that are the same. Cubed terms, squared terms, constant, uh, excuse me, x term, constant. So now let's combine them. This is 3x cubed uh, minus, excuse me, let's uh, delete that little bit there. Like my sound effects. I just don't want there to be silence. I'm afraid of silence. 2x squared minus 5x squared is negative 3x squared. And that's plus x minus 1. So there's my answer. Uh, 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 1. Let's do one more example. 3x squared plus x minus 6 plus x squared plus 4x plus 10. Uh, again, this is a trinomial plus a trinomial. I am trying to reinforce this vocabulary here for you. Let's group the like terms. Group terms. So, again, it's addition. Nothing needs to be distributed. So this is 3x squared plus x squared. So that's that term and that term. Now we've got some x terms here. Plus x plus 4x. That's this term and this term. Minus 6 plus 10. That's this term and this term. Those shapes came out better. And now I just combine the things that are the same. 3x squared plus x squared is 4x squared. x plus 4x is plus 5x. Negative 6 plus 10 is plus 4. And there is my solution. I've got a quick practice for you on adding polynomials uh, back on your Canvas notes. Uh, so if you can go do that problem on your own right now, that would be fantastic. And we'll continue on in the next video.